super that is. Hi everyone, this is Helen. <laughs> Say hi to everyone, hi, Helen. Hi everyone. Because you just don't know how long she's going to be here. Neither, me neither. No, I don't know how long. I may, may pass away here. She's my pal. And I may move on somewhere. I don't know. My life is in the future. <laughs> Isn't it true for all of us? Yeah. Um, i got to put my mask on. So, Helen, I'm bringing her some pictures from her house in Old Orenco, and we just brought this one. Yeah. Do you see that? This is my mom and dad when <laughs> they were young. 20. It says, Bert John Aller, Ida Elizabeth Mitchell. Yeah. Bert's 21 and Ida is 18 and this is in 1926. Oh. They were just young starting out. Yeah. So that's her mom and dad and I'm bringing things over from Helen's home in Orenco where she's just recently moved. Oh. Now who do you think this might be? That is me and my brother Bill. You think so? That's not your son. That's not my okay. son. No, that's my, my brother. Is that Bill Aller? Huh? Bill Aller? Yes. O-L-L-E-R. Bill yeah. Aller. And some of you Hillsboroughites who might watch this, you might remember the Aller station. Oh, that was all, yeah, in Hillsboro. Yeah. 101 East Baseline. Yeah. And there's a picture of Helen. If you go to the Safeway here up from Pointer which was Albertson's, you'll see a big picture. And guess who's on the wall at Safeway? You are. I am? In the, in the tow truck in the parade in Hillsboro. And it's about eight feet across right at the grocery store up here. I just saw it. How's that? <laughs> you could be queen I'm for a day. Popular. But this was all our station, and some of you will remember. Yeah. Right there, phone number MI8-3546-101 East Baseline. First and baseline, not there anymore. And I, uh, we have some pictures. I think it was a Shell station. Oh. But her daddy. Or her daddy fixed radiators. So we're just doing kind of a picture review today. That's my mother. That's Ida. All I know. Okay. Any of these you want to keep? Otherwise, these are going back to your house in the trunk. Another that's one. That's my of, mother. That's Ida in black and white. Yeah. Anyway. Well, say goodbye to everybody, Helen. We're just going to turn off the camera. Okay. Until next time. Do you, have okay. any, do you have any advice for people today? Uh, be truthful. Uh, hmm. And uh, live your life the best you can. Yeah. And, and, the, and with the people you love the most. <laughs> and you're one of them. <laughs> you're one of mine. And you're 95, <laughs> young lady. Yeah. 96 coming up. I'm an old lady. Yeah. Well. That's okay because I have I have lived every life, every day of my life with love. It's good advice. And you've been grateful for everything. Uh, I have been grateful for things that have been given to me and, and, and helped me along the way. I have been helpful. I have been thankful mm -hmm. that... Uh, so many people have been good to me and and um, helped me along the way. Even when you got lost in your wheelchair yeah. in Cornelius a couple of years ago. Yeah. Not lost, but then people just helped you. And you took the bus. Yeah. Huh. I call her trouble. She calls me trouble. Well, <laughs> but she's one of the nicest people I ever met. So I just wanted to share a little bit of Helen with you all. If you ever want to see Helen, I guess you can come visit her anytime at Empres yeah. uh, Care Center. And she has a nice room, and she's doing well here. So it worked out. Yeah. I'll work with anybody that wants to try to get better. And you like pizza too, right? I love people. Okay, pizza. Pizza. Oh, pizza. Yeah. Oh, I love pizza. I didn't bring pizza today. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Say bye, Helen. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later.